What's going on guys? My name is Dawson Red and I'm a proud Gryffindor and welcome back to Fantastic Reds and Where to Find Them. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be diving into the September Accio box to see what is in store this month. So without further ado guys, let's jump into today's video, Accio intro. So you're going to notice in today's Accio video that Skylin is not here. Uh, she actually has some stuff that she has to do. Um, so we had already waited a week to unbox this at this point. So we wanted to make sure that we didn't wait any longer to get it out to you guys. Um, so you're getting just me on this box here, uh, but I'll be making sure to show Skylin all the different items within this box. So if you are new to Accio, they are a monthly subscription box where they deliver magical goodness to your door every single month. Now, this box here cost me around 50 something dollars a month to receive. And right now, Accio is doing a Golden and Silver Trio series. They just finished up their Golden Trio not too long ago, which was Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And now they are on to their Silver Trio, which is Luna, Ginny, and Neville, last month being the Luna box. So we're either going to have Ginny or Neville in this month's box, and then next month, we will have the last Accio box in this series. Um, and then November, we'll see what they have in store for them. So, uh, on the outside of the box here, you have Accio. On this side here, you have, uh, don't forget to tag us for a chance to be featured with their uh, information for Facebook and Instagram, the Accio box. On the back side here, we have Magic Delivered. Find out all about us on Accio.com. And then on top, Fragile Contents, please handle with care. And if we open it up here, it says we solemnly swear there is good stuff inside. And then we have some tissue paper. Now, if this box was to be themed around your particular house, because when you sign up for Accio, you sign up for uh, what house that you're in, this would be the color of your house. And if it's black, then that just means that there is no house item. So with them doing this series, I don't believe that we have received a house item or a house colored tissue paper in anything yet. So we may not see nothing like that till possibly um, November. So without further ado, we're gonna dive in and see what we have in this month's box. So first off, I can see here on top, we have a Weird Sisters patch, World Tour 1994. So the Weird Sisters, you guys know who they are. So this is really neat. It is a patch that you could throw on like a denim jacket or something. Um, to display your love for the Weird Sisters and their music. So a simple item, but really cool either way. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use this on anything. I don't really wear denim jackets or anything like that. So uh, for me, I don't know if I'll ever use that. But the next item in here, which I think maybe goes along with this, because they're stacked together, is actually really cool. And I will be displaying this. This is a Weird Sisters ticket to their concert. So check that out. Super cool. It says Wizarding Wireless Network presents the Weird Sisters. Um, and then it says July 10th, 1999, London, Saturday, no broom arrival. It says floor seating, standing, July 10th, 1999, uh, no refund, no exchange. And then it has just uh, some silver foiling in the stars and the number 10. I don't know if that's picking it up on camera, but really cool item. And then of course, this end down here can be ripped off like a regular ticket. So it's like a regular ticket. So it's a pretty cool item. Something that you could display on maybe a Yule ball shelf or something like that. So really cool. Moving on to the next set of items, we'll see what we have in here. It looks like we have a, is this a candle? No, we have a candle. So this is from Highland Bluff Studios. Um, it is called Arnold. So that tells me that this is actually a Ginny box um, because Ginny's Pygmy Puff is named Arnold. This is supposed to smell like cherry, raspberry, and vanilla. It's a natural soy candle from HighlandBluffStudios.com. And there is what that looks like. Um, this doesn't scream magic to me, which is sad. Um, it's just a, a black container. 
it doesn't really feel magical and when I pull items out of a subscription box I want to feel magical I want to feel like I'm living in the world of you know Harry Potter this does that um, this actually does not make me feel that way maybe if the packaging was a little bit better um, as far as I don't know a little more clever than just a black container with the name Arnold on it I would feel that way but uh, it's just not doing it for me um, smells good another thing is I don't use candles so we actually use like a wax warmer and do that thing uh, but nonetheless it smells pretty good but it doesn't feel very magical and uh, just putting the name Arnold on it really just doesn't do it for me uh, but at least we now know whose box this is uh, and we'll move on to the next item. So up next we have the Accio pin of the month. Um, this is of course Ginny's Patronus. They're doing a Patronus series right now or a protector series as they're calling it. It is the stained glass. They were selling this um, stand or this plaque that you can put them all in and then hang up on your wall as a piece of wall art. Unfortunately, um, I reached out to Accio and that is no longer available. So um, I'm not going to be able to display them like I wanted to, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. It's still a pretty pin either way, but I was looking forward to getting that and hanging it up on the wall and displaying these um, like that. But, but I'm sure I can find another way to display them, so no big deal. So super pretty pin, and that is the third item in the box, so we should only have either two to three items left in here. So if we move all this to the side, I see a little bag here that says Accio on it. And let's see what's inside. So this says, anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. Now, I believe this is for your wrist, which is way too small almost for me. But there you go. Um, I like the saying on this, um, but the execution, I, I do not like. So when I film these videos, I try to be as honest as possible, which by the way, I do pay for these boxes on my own. Um, they are not shipped to me or anything like that. Um, but I like to be as honest as possible. And I like the saying on here, but I really just do not like the execution. And this is not something that I would ever wear. But there it is. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, I'm just really not feeling this one. Um, there'll be some people out there that probably really like this and really enjoy it. And I'm sure Skylin will like this and maybe I can give it to her and she can wear it. But for me, it just isn't doing it. This and the candle so far, um, I just haven't really been feeling too much. So moving on to the next item, I see a t-shirt in here. It is a green shirt. Now you guys know I love Accio t-shirts. I think almost everybody does. I've never really heard anything negative about Accio's t-shirts when it comes to the quality of them. Um, so yeah, I'm always excited when I see a t-shirt in an Accio box. So we'll get this out here. And this is a green shirt. Oh, this is actually really cool. I like this one. It says Hollyhead Harpies. So this is the team that Ginny goes on to play professional Quidditch on, the Hollyhead Harpies. Very cool. On the side here, on the sleeve, it says the league's only all-witch sports team. So representing the all-witch sports team with the Hollyhead Harpies t-shirt. Very cool. On the back, like all the Accio shirts, we have Accio printed right here below the neck. And yeah, I really am liking this shirt. This is a really cool shirt. Once again, Accio doing a fantastic job with their t-shirts. I'm always excited to see a t-shirt in an Accio box. They're super soft, super comfy, and I love them. I'm actually wearing one right now with the Quibbler Staff Reporter tee. Uh, I love these shirts. Um, I've only received two of them so far, which would be this one, and then of course the Firebolt Ambassador shirt, which is a phenomenal t-shirt. 
Um, but it, yeah, super exciting. So I think we were due for a t-shirt change. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And there we have it. The Hollyhead Harpies t-shirt looking really good. What do you guys think? I'm digging it. Very nice. I like the colors, the green with the gold wording and then the white kind of border around it. We have the golden snitch. Uh, fantastic t-shirt. This is super cool. I'm actually about to go shopping to find a shadow box for an item that you're going to be seeing in a future video and I'm going to wear this out. And so now I've got three really cool shirts uh, to wear to the Wizarding World uh, after Christmas. So super exciting. So uh, let's see what we have left. It looks like we have the cheat sheet which we will set to the side and then it uh, looks like we also have another print so you guys remember the print we got was it the last box yeah so it was the last box in the Luna box we received a print representing Luna Lovegood and this time we received another print representing Jenny once again super awesome artwork by this artist check this out What do you guys think of this? I'm really digging these prints. They're super cool. The artist who did these did a fantastic job and I like the representation um, that she's been able to put into these and they look really, really cool. I actually have the Luna Lovegood one back here framed and I'll be framing this one as well. Hopefully I'll be able to get them hung up on the walls soon in some different locations. So very cool print here. Really like this item. All right guys, so moving on to the cheat sheet. Let's see what it says. So the Accio Prophet. Being the youngest and only girl in the house full of boisterous brothers means having to develop a strong sense of self and fearless attitude. And that's just how we describe this witch. And while she's loyal, witty, and definitely cunning, we suspect it was her bold attitude and the strength of her convictions that landed her with the lions. Let's give it up for the heroic harpy, the queen of the bat boggy hex, and our favorite feisty ginger, Jenny. First item on the list is the Harpies Team Tee, which I am wearing here, which I absolutely love. This is a $25 value. It says it's fitting that this ultra sporty member of the Silver Trio spent her career speeding around on a broomstick and this super soft throwback tee celebrates her athletic achievements with one of our favorite teams. Yeah, so I think that this shirt has been in one of their subscription boxes before and so this is a, uh, a reprint of it. This shirt features our take on the Harpies logo on the front and a sleeve detail highlighting the unique nature of the team's all-female roster. Designed in collaboration with Wade Kelly of Work Wagon Designs. Super cool tee. I really do like this one. Up next we have the Magical Rock Show Souvenir Kit. This is an $8 value. That is going to be the Weird Sister ticket into the concert and then of course the Weird Sister patch. It says, we can't send you to the magical world to see Jenny's favorite band in concert, but you can feel like you were there with this set of souvenirs, including a replica ticket with foil detail and an artfully distressed canvas punk patch. Made in-house so you won't find this elsewhere. Patch design in collaboration with Wade Kelly at Work Wagon Designs. So the same person that created this t-shirt also created this patch. Wade Kelly of Work Wagon Designs. Once again, that was an $8 value. Up next, we have the stamped bracelet that came in this bag here. This is a $10 value. It says the next time you need an encouraging word to help you channel your inner Jenny, look no further than this lovely silver tone steel bracelet stamped with one of her best loved quotes. An Accio exclusive you won't find in any shop. This bracelet comes in a soft black velvet bag to keep it scratch free and polished when not in use. Moving on to the back side, we have up next the protector stained glass pin, which is this here, which is super pretty. Really enjoying these. This was an $18 value. It says we're so excited to bring you the fifth in our series of exclusive stained glass pins featuring the protective animal spirits for each of the characters in the golden and silver trios. 
When collected as a set, they will form a complete circular window motif. Collect all six along with our exclusive custom design frame that will allow you to display them beautifully as a piece of wall art. Unfortunately, like I said, which I'm not sure why this is on here, uh, maybe these were printed before these boxes shipped, but um, that frame is no longer available. Uh, once again, I tried to find it, I tried to buy it, uh, but it wasn't on there and I reached out to Accio and they said that uh, pre-orders on them were gone. So the only way that you may could snag one is if once they receive them, um, they end up having some extras somehow and then they post them up on their site, which they do that sometimes with items that they have extras of, you can go find them on their shop. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we may be able to find it um, on their shop. If not, we'll just find a different way to display it. But that was an $18 value. Up next, we have the watercolor print by Willow and Roxas. Once again, you will remember that artist from the Luna Box. It says, we fell in love with the artist Sarah Brown's style and we knew we had to include her art in this series. Lovingly hand painted in watercolors, this piece was custom designed just for our subscribers and features our favorite quirky witch surrounded by all the things that make her unique. You can look forward to more of Sarah's work throughout this series. Be sure to check out her Etsy shop for more beautiful art at willowandroxasxe.com. So uh, we only have one box left in the series, so I would assume that by that we're probably going to have a Neville print as well. In the next box. Once again this was a very pretty piece of artwork. I really enjoy it and I really do enjoy Sarah Brown's style. It's very neat and I will be framing this and once again this was a $12 value. And then last but not least we have the Arnold scented candle. This was by Highland Bluff Studios which is this here. This is a $9 value and it says this scented candle tin by longtime subscriber favorite Highland Bluff Studios features notes of cherry, raspberry, and vanilla and smells as sweet as fluffy little Arnold himself. Made from natural soy wax, this four ounce candle should burn for approximately 20 hours. An exclusive scent created just for our Accio Box customers. Visit HighlandBluffStudio.com to see more nerdy scented candles from a variety of fandoms. So guys, that wraps it up for this month's box. I always like to do a favorite item and my least favorite item. And usually I like to get Skylan's opinion, but with her not being here, um, you're just going to be getting mine. So uh, my favorite item would once again be the t-shirt. Um, I'm a t-shirt fan and once again they did a fantastic job with this t-shirt. At this point I am subscribed to this box solely for their t-shirt I feel like. Um, then after that I would have to say either... After that I would probably have to say not particularly the patch itself but the Weird Sister ticket is really really cool and I like this. So this would probably have to be my next favorite item in the box. Um, my two least favorite items in the box, I have two. One would be the candle, just because I'm not a candle person. Um, I just, I don't like burning candles too often. And on top of that, although it smells amazing, the packaging is a little lackluster. Uh, it doesn't feel very magical to me. But it says it is a fan favorite, so maybe I'm just the oddball out here. And then, of course, I would have to say, even past the candle, this may be my least favorite item just because one, I would never wear anything like this. Two, um, it's just pretty simple and has some words on it. Once again, I like the saying on here, uh, just not a big fan of the execution of this. And my bag is actually falling apart now that I'm looking at it, that it comes in. But anyways, so those are my favorite and least favorite items from this month's box. I would say that this is possibly the weakest box in the series that I've received so far. And for that, it's a little upsetting, but I'm gonna stick with Accio for a little while longer before I make a decision on whether or not I'm going to uh, stay with them or not. Um, I'm definitely gonna finish the series out and then I may see what November and December brings because I'm curious to see what those months bring. And if I don't feel like I'm getting items that I particularly would display or like to use, then honestly I will probably drop Accio and use that money to go towards like Noble Collection items or other things that I could do videos on here on the channel. Um, but I am going to give them the benefit of the doubt and I am going to check out at least the next three boxes 
more than likely. I want to finish this series and I want to see what November and December brings as well. And then I will make my final decision then. And if I decide I'm going to drop this box, I will definitely let you guys know. But so far, it's been kind of hit or miss for me. Out of the three Accio boxes that we've received so far, there hasn't been that one item that makes me go, wow, this is why I'm subscribed to Accio. So I'm looking for that item. Hopefully we will see that. If not in the next box, maybe in the November, December box. Uh, but once again, I'm going to hold out and we will see. Guys, let me know down below what was your favorite and least favorite item in this month's box. Did you think that this was a weaker Accio box or did you really enjoy all the items in it? Once again, it could just be me, just personal preference. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you are all doing well. I'm going to get out of here because I got a lot more things to film for you guys and I can't wait for you to see them. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you again very soon. Knox. Doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean? Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>